Okay, and it's time for another installment of the LM3915 base spectrum analyzer. Today I'm going to be shooting handheld, mainly because I have a lot more to show you. Uh, right now what I have set up is a LM358 being a bandpass filter here. Unfortunately, I have an LM358 here as a preamp, which I found out wasn't so good compared to the old op amp that I had here. So I'm going to have to swap that out for now. I just have it plugged straight into the bandpass filter coming out of the jack. Now I'm kind of cheating here because I'm coming out of my iPod into my little mixer board, which is acting as its own preamp. But I set up the mixer so I could get the preamp out of it and I'm feeding it to another speaker back there just so you guys can hear it. So I'm pretty much done the uh, handheld portion of this. Actually, just to cover over a few things, there's the bandpass section, there is the rectification and bias removing section. This gets rid of the 6 volt bias that this bandpass filter generates, and then it just feeds into the same LM3915 uh, segment that I had earlier and that's pretty much it so let's see it in action okay here goes my second attempt you haven't seen my first one problem was that I use 27 kilo ohm resistance instead of 2.7 so now it actually responds to 60 Hertz um, and as a result of that the song I was using earlier didn't have enough bass so obviously I switched to drum and bass what I have here is Tarantula by Pendulum and uh, it has plenty of bass. Now for this section it doesn't have anything, but once you get further on, you can see that it responds fairly well. And again, I'm using my mixer as a preamp. I will solve that problem soon enough. So you can see that it actually responds to 60 Hz pretty well. I'm actually going to switch it now to a laptop, if you bear with me for just one second, and we can see whether or not it responds to true 60 Hz coming out of a signal generator. Okay, since my camera's running out of power, I'll be quick. Right now I have a signal generator hooked up to the uh, bandpass filter input, and it's currently putting out 40 Hz. You can't hear it because it's too low for this camera to pick up or my speakers to reproduce. Um, so I'm going to bump it up bit by bit and we'll see at 60 hertz it'll peak and go down by 70 hertz. Now we're at 45 hertz, 50 hertz. 55 hertz, 60 hertz, 65 hertz, 70 hertz, 75 hertz, 80 hertz, 85. 90 hertz, 100 hertz. and 100Hz. So we can see that uh, this thing has a somewhat wide response, but it doesn't have 
uh, too good of a response around the uh, plus or minus 20 hertz range beyond the uh, frequency filter. So once I get other stages built, we'll see how the overall unit performs. And uh, see you all next time.